NovelHorror.com and tonight I hope you will join me with a nice glass of wine, comfy in your bed and your PJs, and let's discuss The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. My best friend, Abby, knows I really don't like vampires. enjoyed Dracula, did not watch Interview with a Vampire, just not interested in vampires. However, she thought I would like this book and she was right. The main thing I don't like about vampires in books and movies is that everything is centered on the violence. There are a few people I don't like in the world, but I'm not a violent person. And I think reading or looking at a movie that really has no value other than gore it's just not for me. So I was really pleasantly surprised by the historian. I haven't read anything by uh, Elizabeth before. Uh, I am starting The Swan Thieves that just came out as well, so I'm definitely going to recommend her. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this. I don't know how many more times I can say that. Uh, but if you like books, you'll like it because it sets out to follow the history all the way back to the actual real Dracula who was Vlad Dracula and they visit so many amazing libraries throughout the book as well as countries in Turkey and Bulgaria and just they travel places where when the book was set most Americans couldn't get into and currently some of the things don't exist anymore um, because it's been so long so I'm not really planning on reading anything out of The Historian. It's not... What do I want to say? There aren't any huge main truths in it that I think relate to my life or anyone's life that I know, but it was definitely suspenseful. I could not put the book down very well written, the characters. I actually kind of fell in love with Dracula <laughs> more than I ever expected. Uh, the main character I liked as well, the narrator, who was the daughter in the story, um, didn't do too much for me, but there is a bit of a love story in it, which is always nice, but it's not overdone as many, especially vampire movies and novels try to do. I like Twilight. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I did actually enjoy Twilight, but so did Abby. She has a picture hanging in her closet, so I love Abby. She's awesome. But I highly recommend The Historian. It's a great read, especially if you're interested in history. Um, there was actually a real person, Black Dracula, Dracula, excuse me, um, that a lot of the folklores are based on. He was actually called Vlad the Impaler and killed a lot of people, so he wasn't a really great guy, but interesting story nonetheless. Um, it does tie back to Transylvania, which I find shocking. And less shocking, but something that I always seem to forget about, is that it really ties in with the church. So it was an interesting concept to bring back all of the um, rites that they did and, you know, things to get rid of Dracula and vampires and all that really were started by the church and uh, papers and books and everything were collected by them, especially them. Most people didn't have books at all. It was always kept at the monastery or the local church. Um, so that part was definitely interesting as well as the travel and the historical aspects and books and libraries and all that. So I highly recommend it if you're a book lover, even if you don't like vampires. It's not fantasy, which I really can't read at all. It's not sci-fi. It's, you know, it's just a really, really excellent book. I highly recommend it. It's The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova, and you can pick it up at your local library or useyourbooksfree.com membership. And I want to thank you for joining me again tonight. Don't forget to stalk me on Twitter and Facebook. Send me your book recommendations and let me know what you thought of The Historian. I hope you'll join me next time in bed with a glass of wine. Bye.